please excuse any mispronunciations in this story. I mean no disrespect. This story is about Sky Elijah Metalwalla, who vanished from Bellevue, Washington on November 6, 2011. He was two years old at the time and should be 13 years old now. Sky's parents, Solomon Metalwalla and Julia Bariokova, had a rocky relationship between possible mental health issues, external family issues, and financial issues, they were struggling. They had a daughter in 2007 and Skye in 2009. The parents were arrested when Skye was only two months old for leaving him alone in a car for almost an hour in freezing temperatures. They agreed to take parenting classes and the charges were eventually dropped. In 2010, Julie was admitted to a mental hospital for having dreams of killing her children. She wasn't believed to be a threat to the children and was released. Solomon eventually filed for a divorce. Julie was admitted to a mental hospital two more times and was said to be a danger to herself and others. Both parents threw a lot of abuse accusations at each other in the custody battle. According to Julie, on the morning of November 6, 2011, Skye woke up sick in the Redmond apartment. She said he, she put him and his sister in the car and headed for the hospital. Julie stated that her car ran out of gas on the way. So she parked the car on the side of the road. She said she left Skye strapped into his car seat inside while she took her daughter to find assistance reaching the Chevron station a mile north of where she parked an hour later. Instead of buying gas or asking someone to bring it to her car, she called a friend who came and picked her up and gave her a ride back to her car. Julie said that when she returned, she discovered that Skye was gone. She called police and reported him missing. Searchers combed a 20 block radius from the car but found nothing. Bellevue police soon came to doubt Julie's story. Her car had enough gas in its tank and operated normally. In the hour she spent walking to the gas station, she didn't even seek help from anyone. She had left her home with a sick child, but didn't take her wallet, purse, or phone. When questioned about things, Julie invoked her Fifth Amendment rights and refused to take a lie detector test. She did, however, give investigators permission to search her car, her computer, and her home. Police searched Solomon's house as well and found nothing. Solomon took two lie detector tests, one inconclusive, the other was kept secret. There was some questions about whether Skye had even been in the car that morning to begin with. Motorists who had passed the parked Acura did not report seeing anything unusual, not even a child in it. At Julie's apartment complex in Redmond, neighbors said she and her children rarely went out, and none of them had seen Sky for at least two weeks. Solomon was not aware of anyone having seen his son other than his ex-wife since an April doctor visit. However, their daughter told the police that Skye had indeed been in the car that morning. It is said that Julie had been posting a lot of pictures of her daughter on Facebook, but rarely posted pictures of Skye. That really got people talking. Then after Skye vanished, social services took his sister and placed her in foster care. Solomon was eventually given custody of her. There are many theories out there, but proof of none. Did Julie's obsession with law and order teach her how to get away with things? Or was it just a case of neglect and circumstances, allowing someone the opportunity to take Sky? I would like to believe that someone has been raising him for the past 11 years, no matter how he came into her, their custody, and I hope someday he will be found safe. If anybody has any possible leads in this case, please check out the contact information in the description. Anyone 
with any information regarding the disappearance of Sky Metawala should contact Bellevue Police. Thank you.